Hello everyone, my name is Madhu Kumari and today I am going to teach you maths. As you all know, this is our second class and we are going to continue chapter 1. In the previous class, we discussed about national place value chart. And today we are going to discuss about international system of numeration or you can say that international place value chart. You can see I have drawn the chart here, so let's discuss this. The very first period in the international place value chart is ones. In ones, we have three place values. Ones, tens and hundreds. The second period is thousands period. And in this period also we have three place value. Thousand, ten thousand and hundred thousand. After thousand, we have the next period is million and in this also we have three place value millions, ten millions and hundred millions. As I told you in the previous class, we separate periods by putting the comma. It helps us to read and write any number and let's place these number in this place value chart. The very first number is 3, 2, 4, 6, 1, 9, 4, 2, 6. Let's place this number in this place value chart. 6, 2, 4, 6, 1, 9, 4, 2, 6. Okay, I have put the commas here, which separate the periods. It will help us to read this number. Now, how we can read this number? Let's try. We can read this number as 324 million, 690,426. Okay. Let's write the second number, which is 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 1, 8, 2, 9. Let's read this number also. We can read this number as 928,143,243. Let's do some more questions related to this topic which will help you to understand how we can easily read and write any number in international system of numeration. So the question is place commas between the periods and write these in words in the international system. Okay. So the first number is 4168-41698. So let's write this number with commas. So firstly we are just going to copy the number here. So 4168-41698. Let's start from the last place value. Once Tens, hundred. Here a first period is over, so we are going to put the comma. Thousand, ten thousand, hundred, thousand. Next period is over here, so we are going to put the comma. Now, million, ten million and hundred million. Now, see. How easily we can read and write the number. So let's write this number in words. So now, 
million eight hundred forty one thousand six hundred ninety eight okay so the next number is now one one three four zero one nine six five so we are going to write this number with the commas so first of all copy the number Now we are going to put the commas as we know that in one's period we have three place value. So we are going to comma after three numbers. And once again in thousand period also we have three place value. So once again after three numbers. How we can read this number now? 113,401,965. Let's write this number. One hundred thirteen million four hundred one four hundred one thousand. Nine hundred sixty-five. Nine hundred sixty-five. Now we are going to do the second question. The second question is write the numerals for the following. We have the number names and we have to write the numerals. Okay. You can see that I have drawn a kind of place value chart. This will help you to write the numerals correctly. Okay. So I will instruct you to follow this. Now the first number is. The first number name is 352 millions. Okay. So 352 millions 5000 Six hundred eleven, five thousand six hundred eleven. We doesn't have any digit for ten thousand place and hundred thousand place. So we are going to write here zero. Now let's read this number. This will confirm us. We have written the numeral right or not. Three hundred fifty two millions five thousand six hundred and eleven. Okay, now the next number is 515 millions. Okay, 515 millions. So, 515 millions, 406,000, 406,101, 101. Let's read this number. 515 millions 406,101. So I think now you are able to write numeral in the number name form and number name in the numeral form. So now the next topic is round off. So firstly we are going to write how we can write how we can round up digit to the nearest 10. So firstly, whenever we are talking about 10th place, we what place value we need to observe? 1's. What is written in the 1's place value? Okay? If 1's place has number less than 5, round up to the smaller that is 0. Here, which number I have written? 12. So, at the 1's place value, we have 2, which is less than 
5. So what we are going to do? We are going to write 0 at the 1's place and 10's place we are going to write down as it is. Now, if 1's place has number more than 5 or equal to 5, so what we have to do? We need to add 1 in the 10's digit. Okay? And in the 1's digit we are going to write 0. So, you can see I have written 15. 5 which is equal to 5 but if at the 10th place value digit is equal to 5 what we have to do? Add 1 in the 10th place. 1 plus 1, 2 and at the 1's place 0. In the third example 29 1's place value. At the 1's place value we have 9 which is more than 5. That means we have to add 1 in the 10th place. So 2 plus 1, 3 and 0 at the 10th place. Okay? Now we are going to discuss nearest 100. Round of digit to the nearest 100. To round of digit to the nearest 100, we need to observe the place. Now which place? 10th place. Okay? So if the 10th place is less than 5, what we are going to do? We are going to write 0 at the 10th place and the 1's place. So here the number is 2341. We have 4 at the 10th place which is less than 5. So we, we are going to write this number as 2300. Now, the second one is 790. We have 9 at nine digit at the 10th place, which is more than 5. So, we are going to add 1 at the 100th place and we are going to replace 10th and 1's place by 0. So, 800. So, the third number is 520. We have Two at the tens place which is less than 5. If the number is less than 5 what we have to do? We have to write 0 at the tens place and the ones place. So after round of what we have to write? 500. Okay. Now next we are going to write the round of digit to the nearest thousand. To round of digit to the nearest thousand we need to observe 100 place. Okay. If the 100 place is less than 5. Same thing which we done in the nearest 10 and 100. What we are going to do? We are going to write 0. Okay. 0 at the 100 place, 10th place and 1's place. And if the 100 place is more than or equal to 5. What we are going to do? We are going to add 1. At the thousand place and the rest of the place value and the rest of the place what we are going to write zero so here we have 2472 hundred place we have num number four which is less than five so what we are going to write two zero 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 which is two thousand now the next number three thousand five hundred ninety four at the 100 place, we have digit 5, which is equal to 5. So, that means we have to add 1 at the 1000 place. So, here 3 plus 1, 4. And at the rest of place, what we have to write? 0. So, after round off, we can write this number as 4000. Now, we are going to learn how we can write round off to the digit to the nearest 10,000. To write digit to the nearest 10,000, we need, need to observe the thousand place. Okay, whenever we need to find the nearest digit of any number, we always see the right place. Okay, here we are finding the nearest 10,000 value. In the right side of the 10,000, which place is there? Thousand. So we are seeing the thousand. If we have to find round of total digit of the nearest thousand, 
the right side of 1000 is 100. So we are going to observe 100. If we have to find the nearest 100, we observe the right place of the 100 which is 10s. If we need to observe the nearest 10s, we see the right place value of 10s which is 1s. Okay? So here we are finding the nearest 10,000. So we need to observe the 1000 place. If the 1000 place is less than 5. So if the 1000 place is less than 5, what we need to do? We are going to write 0 at the 1000, 100, 1s and 10s and 1s place. If the 1000 place is equal to or more than 5, then we need to add 1 at 10,000 place and for the rest of the right side place, we are going to write 0. See here, at the 1000 place we have 3, which is less than 5. So here we are going to write 20,000. No change at the 10,000 place. Here we have night at the 1000 place. So we are going to add 1 at the 10,000 place. So it's going to become 5. And for the rest of the right hand side place, what we are going to write? 0. So it's going to become 50,000. Now let's move to the nearest lag place. To round off digit to the nearest 1 lag, we are going to observe 10,000 place. Similarly, if the 10,000 place is less than 5, we are going to write 0 at the right hand side place. place. And if the 10,000 place digit is more than 5, then we are going to add 1 at the left place. And for the rest of the right hand place, we are going to write 0. So, let's see the example. In example 1, we have the number 4,63,219. At the 10,000 place, we have 6, which is more than 5. So, we are going to add 1 at the lag place. So, 4 plus 1, 5. And for the rest of the numbers, which is at the right hand side, we are going to write 0. So, it's going to become 5 lag. Okay. The next one is 9 lag. 21,480. At the 10,000 place, we have 2, which is less than 5. So, we are not going to change our black digit. It's going to be as it is the same, 9. And for the rest of the digit, we are going to write 0. That's all for today. I hope this class will help you to understand this topic. Thank you so much for joining me.